What's the crack, lads? Welcome back to the channel. We are taking our first look at eFootball. eFootball 2025, some people call it as well, because it is the next update on from eFootball 2024. Now, the servers are not up yet. It's late. We're getting this first look out. We're just going to be showing you what they've added. Finesse dribble. We're going to be showing you the physicality. And some of the player faces, man, are absolutely insane. They're really, really nice. We're going to show you a few of them, right? So they have unlocked all of these for exhibition match. You can play against the AI, any match, any difficulty. You can change the stadium, the weather. We'll get into it, right? But pretty much every licensed and unlicensed team and league is here. So you've got United that are licensed. You've City that aren't licensed. Liverpool, Arsenal, all of these. They've also unlocked League One, which is officially licensed here you've got psg um you've got nice you've got leon uh league two the belgian league obviously and the english second division swiss league none of these are fully fully licensed this the spanish league la liga is not fully licensed you've got barcelona in there you've got real madrid there so none of these will have their kits on uh, console or anything like that um but yeah they've also added the national teams now i'm going to go straight into a match here and I'm just going to show you a couple of different things, right? So we're going to start by showing you Cristiano Ronaldo, and we're also going to be showing you Leo Messi. So they've, as I said, man, this is all the leagues that they have there, right? So you can see every league, every team, uh, even in North and Central, you've got the USL, the American League, you've got the Liga BVA, you've got this other league as well with San Diego and Rio Grande. Obviously, they might be taken out. You've got all the national teams here. So pretty much there's a lot of teams in here now as well. Like you've got the Korean League, J-League 1, 2. I don't think we've ever had as many teams, even fake teams in here as well, man, uh, in the offline mode. Like, it's, well, it's not really a mode, it's just exhibition, but we will show you all of that. If there's a specific team that you want, we'll go through it in the stream as well tomorrow morning, right? But we're just going to show you a Portugal versus Argentina, Messi versus Ronaldo. It ends with them, it begins with them. You've got a couple of new layouts here as well. This is the brand new stadium. It's a fake stadium. Uh, this is it here and you will see here that within the settings you can change it from day to night right it's got real time there and of course you can change it to winter or summer if you change it to winter you can actually change the weather here to snow so we're going to show you this even though it's probably going to be a bit more difficult um, to see the player faces right but they still look pretty decent it looks like they've done something with the actual um camera itself right you can also set all of these the superstar to legend difficulty all of these man so it doesn't matter what difficulty you want to put it on it's now all unlocked the rest of the stuff here you can change the time the minutes you can go all the way up to 30 minutes a half or for 50 minute half matches all of these are here they've got a brand new ball as well you've got this brand new ball and they've got the origin one that was there there's a couple of new balls in here as well a couple of new bits and pieces to go through a lot of the stuff that's still in there is the older stuff but they do have this ball which seems to be their main one right now the mixture between the faces that they've updated and the faces that they haven't updated we'll get into that but man Messi looks insane we're also going to take a quick look they've got a couple of new animations or new kind of graphics when you see the teams lining up here and stuff like that just a couple of new bits and pieces not a massive amount added to be fair but they do have a couple of bits and pieces added right and also the gameplay does feel it feels different it just looks more high res i don't know how to explain it we'll show you a couple of examples in a second they've touched up the grass they've touched up the player faces there seems to be kind of like a more high res sheen off some of the players right especially with the hair and the, the facial hair the tattoos there seems to be just kind of a little bit of a, sh of a shine to the players. Now, obviously, all of this is still eFootball 2024. Um, this has been in the game for a while, for the last couple of months since they added that. But the game looks pretty decent, man. They still have the same UI and the same layout. Obviously, the snow is not going to cover the ground too much. But it looks better, man. It looks better. Now, here from this, right, let me just show you how it feel, how it plays like, man, um, like first. But I am going to show you a couple of faces, right? Um, so we'll start with Messi. There's a couple of different players, man, here, right, that they've upgraded, right? So for the likes of Rafael Leao, obviously he's always had a pretty decent face. Um, but yeah, some of the player faces that they have are pretty decent, man. The hair movement as well is really nice. They've added hair movement to this with the players. You can see it there. You can see it with Haaland as well. That is Cristiano. I know people will ask me about Cristiano. Um, so that is him. Some of the facial expressions are still a bit weird, but I think the faces look okay, man. They look pretty decent. But Messi looks extraordinary, man. Like, Messi looks like okay that's just a bad angle but <laughs> some of the camera angles can be really funky man the paul there as well with his graphics uh, upgraded De Maria still looks like he's got his older face which is not the high res face um but for the likes of messi man i mean messi looks to me looks absolutely insane like that is like the hair look at his hair man and i don't want to be fangirling over his hair but it just looks super high res compared to other players it looks ridiculous like it actually looked kind of like uncanny valley 
um, and his beard, everything looks pretty decent, man. Really, really nice. And even when he's moving, you can you will be able to see the the movement of the hair when he's dribbling, you know. Um, so yeah, and especially for player with long hairs. And as I said, I don't want to be fangirling over things, but where the difference is, right, is now when you hold L two on the pad, right. When you hold L2, you're able to kind of go into this like little kind of like jiggle finesse dribble. And then you can pair that up with like burst pass. You can stop. It's kind of like, I would say, the finesse dribble, the way I look at it and the way it kind of feels to play. Obviously, we'll need to test it on online and stuff. Um, it kind of feels like a little bit kind of like, I don't know. It just feels more natural when you're dribbling. And I, I wish that they had never really taken out the finesse dribble out of the game before. And I could see why they took it out, but like you can just turn very, very sharply. You can stop whenever you're going. So if you're going from a full sprint here, right? If you're going from a full sprint with Ronaldo here, you can press it and then you can kind of turn. You see the way there? Now also, I'm going to try and show you. I'm going to switch over actually. Um, if I'm able to, I'm going to switch over to Messi, right? Now Messi is just unreal in the game so far, man. He's a joy to hold on to. One thing I will say, boys, right? And obviously, listen, it's 12 o'clock here. So, you know, I've been streaming, we've streamed a good stream today. I'm not going to be, you know, like sitting here and totally, obviously this is just the first look. We're going to have to see how it shapes up online. Um, but the passing and the interceptions feel slightly tweaked, but they still feel very interception-y, which I'm not, I'm not going to like if it is that way. But the physicality definitely feels better. So when you hold L2 now, it's the finesse dribble. It's not the physicality. But like, do you see that little physicality there? That's all auto contextual. So you can see Nuno Mendes coming over across here, right in this position. Now, when he gets the ball in close at Messi here, I am waiting for the auto contextual um, finesse to, to kind of come in. So I stop with the finesse dribble here with Messi, right? Let me actually switch to Messi. One sec. So when I when I press an L two here, it's now going to trigger with L two. The finesse dribble so i stop up but nuna mendes is going to come across me here and he's going to actually just bury me out of the way why am i on bruno fernandez man one second boy sorry yeah so here we go right so you're going to see the finesse the physical contact here so this is all auto contextual now from the ai and from me with messi so it just depends who's the stronger player and bruno Fernandes holds me off you can see him actively holding me off here this is new animation style so i do like that i'll be honest with you I do like that. The finesse dribbling is nice, but I do feel like it could be, you know, it could be something that they, I just don't want them to tweak it, man. Just don't, please, lads, don't let them tweak it, man. You know, because it does feel super nice. The passing, the shooting, everything just feels a little bit more fluid. However, I will say that it is going to be very difficult to judge this game offline. It's going to, it's going to be a case of when you're coming up against, you know, 105 rated Messi, what he's going to handle like. But my prediction for tomorrow when the servers go on, is that we're going to have a hell of a lot of fun and some seriously good clips, man, uh, with Messi and with the dribblers. Now, we're just playing on our standard setup. So we're playing pass assist two. We're playing no difficulty change, nothing. It's just on Superstar. I will say that the AI still feels a little bit too heavy. Now, we are on Superstar difficulty. Um, the AI seem to do some funny things, even in the first two or three matches that I played. The AI does seem to do a few funny things. Um you know like such as keep the ball here for just like you know forever and then they'll get caught out and as i said i'm just holding auto pressure here the way that the auto pressure works now it's still the same but it doesn't seem to be as aggressive they still run towards the ball but they kind of like you're, the players kind of like hold off the ball um if that makes sense it's it's hard to explain it like i'm trying i'm trying not to get too excited with it man because the dribbling to me is unbelievable man. it is unbelievable uh, stunning shots everything still seems the same the goalies have a couple of new animations the headers seem to be more uh, animations and more built towards that the game just feels a little bit more fluid it's hard to explain it um, <laughs> oh my God. holy smokes man stunning shooting is back baby and sorry about the hair man we are doing pretty much a live video here that was an absolute thunder basket that shot what an unbelievable hit man seriously Look at that, first time, boom. That's just a stunning shot, man. Nets still look pretty poor as well. But I want to show you a quick thing here, right? Okay, so I'm going to show you one change that they've also made to the lighting and also to the grass, right? So this picture that you're seeing here, right on your screen, is from eFootball 2024, which was like last week or taken last week or whatever. This is the new grass here. And you can see the change in texture. You can see the slight change in the graphics and the slight change in the lighting. 
it f it just looks different. It looks more high res. Do you know what I mean? Um, if you go and cycle between the two of them, you can also see it here with the goalkeepers. If you see here with the goalkeepers, it's kind of faded, kind of fuzzy, kind of a little bit, kind of yeah, kind of like a weird kind of blur going on. Versus this, the colors seem darker, sharper. Like, I have no filters done to this. This is basically in the game. So that is one thing as well that I did notice. Um, as I said, I already showed you Messi earlier as well. Like, this Messi looks absolutely incredible, man, um, that we had. We had the Messi here. Like, he looks absolutely insane, in my opinion. So, yeah, it's going to be interesting, man. It's going to be interesting to see how this game launches tomorrow. Um, and as I said, that is just a really quick look at it. Obviously, there's no servers up at the moment, so it's just the offline game. I will do a dedicated video on finesse dribbling. I hope I showed you a couple of bits and pieces there, the physicality. As I said, it's 20 past 12 here, so I am tired. We're going to be streaming at 8 o'clock in the morning. We're going to be doing a big stream tomorrow. So I said I get this late one up so you guys can watch it and hopefully get a first look at the game. So that is it, lads. As I said, you can still play with any of these teams. You can choose any difficulty, any stadiums. I've probably missed some stuff. But um, one thing is as well is that you don't have the transfers up upgraded. So if you pick Real Madrid um, versus PSG, uh, Mbappe is going to still be with PSG. That will change when the servers go live, uh, if that makes sense. But yeah, it looks pretty. It looks pretty. Be it looks much better, man. And to be honest with you, I was very, very, very concerned today when we had the live stream, the Japanese live stream, and there was no mention of updated graphics or updated visuals. They've definitely improved the grass, the hair, the lighting. Whether it's by 10% or 15 or 20%, it's hard to know. But some of the players look unbelievable. Some of them still look the very same. So, yeah, that is it for me. Quick video before I go to bed. Make sure I be tuned in tomorrow to the stream. And we'll stay grinding, baby. Peace. Don't forget to subscribe.